Okay, that was the police with every breath you take. And, well, there was a short interlude from me in that track. Um, my phone's flashing at me, Will. It's flashing at you? Yeah, it is. Is it about to run out of battery or have you got an important message? No, I think I'll just send the volume a bit too high. Oh, right. I've yeah, turned it. That? I've turned it down now. Anyway, let's not talk about all these technical issues. I think we should assume the technology works and just carry on. Yeah. I I think that would be a good idea, Will. Okay, so we've got to discover this non-disclosure agreement again. Well, how how um, binding do you think it should be? Should we get legal advice about it? Uh, a sponsor would step forward with um, a budget for. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's only it's only a device to to divide the audience, keep them apart from each other for a limited amount of time. We should test it, maybe, and see how impressive it needs to be uh, looking to keep the situation going for a little while. Okay. Um, do you think we could get a solicitor to draft something up? Well, I think not having Chris Norton in the studio might help. How would that help us, Chris? Because I wouldn't have let the secret out. Well, oh, I see. You think we shouldn't have told anybody about this? Yeah. Well, we'll just not, redo it. Chris. Not even the people who are involved. Well, I don't know how to do it. See, I think um, it's not a murder mystery as such, is it? It's just a situation. So I think we we have we have a an advanced. Craig gave it with the murder mystery. Well, it's a murder mystery. The audience would be told not to reveal what happens, and they'd be all, they'd be sensible people, and they would never tell anybody, would they? So Chris, don't reveal what happens anymore. No, but um. There's got to be some trickery going on. I mean, if hundreds of people are filing down into a basement and nobody ever comes out, as far as anybody sitting in the Phoenix Bar are concerned... So... Well, no, and will they pay any attention, do you think? Perhaps they won't. Well, I... I just have a... Point. You know all these people are filing down into the basement yeah. and not returning. Mm. How do they get to the key? Is it magic or is there a big long tunnel? Well, at the moment, Chris, as you know, there is no alternative way out of this basement other than the main stairs. So it's but, magic. But, but the, it's magic, or it will be magic, but there will be budget as part of the production to create a new a new door, a new tunnel. I can't say any more at this time. I think then... The budget arrives. I think <laughs> this tunnel... Maybe a little bit expensive. Well, it's a theatrical production, Chris. We haven't got any other expenses than the city of Exeter for people to wander through on their way to the quay. Yeah. And whatever activities, amateur dramatics, printmaking, podcasting, uh, script writing, songwriting, band rehearsals, Whoever wants to sort of add a little bit of activity to the mix of having a wonderful time, we'll allow them as a sponsorship opportunity, so that won't cost very much. So all we've got to worry about is an alternative way out of this basement. OK. That's all we've got to spend the money on. But it could happen at another time and place. Another art centre could do a version of it. We don't really mind. And they may have a completely different non-disclosure agreement, a completely different way of um, 
people appearing to vanish. Okay. So in your story, mm. how did the people vanish? Well, the original story, I, you know, I'll just give a, a credit here again for new listeners who've just tuned in. J.G. Ballard, the stories of J.G. Ballard, you can find it on the Internet Archive, having a wonderful time. They vanished by going on holiday, Chris. From the Midlands and the north of England especially, they're suddenly in the Canary Islands and they think they're on holiday. But actually, Britain no longer needs them. That's, so, just the, that's just the story I'm basing. So they're there forever. As far as you can tell from a half hour radio play, and as far as you could tell, people went down into this basement at the bottom of the arts centre, having been promised all kinds of wonderful activity, and they vanished. And do they, they just vanished? Okay. And do they need a bit of medicine? Oh, the yes. We need medicine.